I'm going to talk to you real quickly about how faith plugs into grace. So he's finally lost it. Not quite yet. Bear with me. I'm going to illustrate a point here. I'm going to make this light bulb here. This is faith. There it says faith. And here on the wall, this, this light fixture is grace. Kids, don't try this at home on your parents' walls. Okay, these are going to be torn down here eventually. But here's the point. There's a lot of people going around right now that call themselves Christians, and they say we are saved by faith alone. Okay? Um, no such statement appears anywhere in the Scriptures, anywhere in the King James Bible. I can't speak from the Vatican version, for the Vatican versions, but whatever. They say, I'm saved by faith alone. Um, that doesn't work. And what they claim is they claim that their light is on, the Holy Spirit there is in their life, and I get it through faith alone. Uh, no, the Bible doesn't teach that. The Bible teaches grace through faith. The grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. It says over in the book of Titus. You need God's grace, and your faith plugs into that. And when you do, if I can get this thing plugged in, hey, the light comes on. You see? But if you don't have God's grace, and all you have is faith alone, the light's not going to come on. You say, well, why would people do something like that? Well, because, you see, they say, I have faith alone because they want to turn the grace of God into lasciviousness. They want to live like the lost world and say, but I'm saved. I got faith alone. My salvation is faith alone. You see, that's the whole thing. They don't want to have that light shining in their life. They don't want the light of God's Holy Spirit in their life because all of a sudden you say, oh, there's a spot there on that shirt I have to wash. What are these old scars on here? Are those old scars from sin and, and oh, that has to go there and oh no, I have a mark here. The light exposes things. It's a lot easier to just say, faith alone. Do you understand? I'd watch out for ministries that say you're saved by faith alone. Uh, there's no scripture to, to prove that anywhere at all. Grace. God had to have grace for you because you're so wicked and so vile you can't save yourself with your faith alone. Okay? I had to come to the point where I said, God, please have grace for me. I'm a sinner. I'm wicked. I need to be saved. And my little profession of faith that I had since I was a little boy in Sunday school, did what my Sunday school teacher told me to do so I could get some candy, you know. That faith wasn't, that didn't save me. The light bulb didn't come on for me. But boy, I came to the point where I was broken and I said, I've had enough of this wicked world. I want God to save me. God, could you have some grace? I believe that Jesus died for my sins. I believe that he was buried and he rose again. And his blood that he shed can wash my sins away. And God's grace came into my life. And my faith in what Jesus Christ did turned on the light. Okay? I hope I've illustrated my point. Stay away from teachers that say faith alone.